I'm Dr. Azari Rosman. I'm a consultant cardiologist at IGN and I work as uh, an interventional cardiologist. So you're on the Ask Me Talk program. So high blood pressure needs sebenarnya may not have any symptoms. It can be completely silent. That's why they call it silent killer. Have you heard that? So silent killer means it can kill you without you even realizing that it's being you're being killed. Your organs that can damage are your heart, for example, your brain, your kidneys, they can get damaged because of high blood pressure that is very high for a long period of time. Some people can drop dead suddenly because they didn't know they've got high blood pressure and they get a bleed in the brain. Perdarahan otak, have you heard of that? So this perdarahan otak can occur if the blood pressure is very high. If you don't check your blood pressure, nobody will know that you have blood pressure. Lifestyle measures. If you have a weight issue, try and reduce some weight. If you've been a sedentary, try and do some exercise, a little bit of exercise pun tak apa. Yeah? One of the most commonest causes of sudden death is still coronary heart disease. Yeah? Ischemic heart disease. Heart attacks in other words. And why does it occur in heart attacks? Because maybe they have risk factors which they never knew. Maybe because they have conditions which they never knew. So with this short session, I hope you learned something and you can take back some information which is useful. I'd like every one of you to understand that your heart is a very important, it's a miraculous organ. Yeah, remember one thing, your heart this size is the size of a fist. Each individual heart is the size of its own fist, can pump the blood from the top of your head to the bottom of your leg. So don't take this for granted because if it's damaged, there is no replacement for this heart because it is such a complex organ. Yeah? Even an artificial heart can never achieve the same kind of efficiency. So protect the heart because once it's damaged, you cannot replace this heart, not easily. And you can never get, never, no matter you transplant or whatever, get that function as you did in your original heart. So remember that. Get the information from the right sources. Remember what needs to be done. Start early and make sure you act on it. Thank you.